Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. We are heading toward uh, Katarina's camp. Yet to be in there. And I might need to go for a bit of a drink before we head out. Uh, sure. Maybe like two of these should be good enough. <clears throat> and we might start from over here. I'm not super against fast travel. I think it's just gonna cut down on, on some uh, some extra, uh, possibly wasted time. Because if you're gonna take the same route, then it doesn't really matter too much. Manti Queen examined. Uh, did I check out this little shack? This place is huge. So unlike Edgewater and unlike every other area before, this place is truly huge. South here. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent trek ahead of us. Yeah, don't worry about that. Apparently she is the guide. But I know where to go. Like, oh crap, Marauder Goon. Oh. Oh, ring leader. Here we go. Well, I guess you guys can clear up the rest. I didn't want to shoot. Hunting Rifle Ultra. Uh, what I'm kind of hoping for is that uh, we're going to get uh, a live machine gun. Yeah, that's a crap helmet. It used to be the, the best. But now we're using Rizzo gear. The best. The new best. What the hell is this? No, I hate this shit. When the game is like, hey, you got some gold on the ground, but like, one coins, you gotta pick it up uh, individually. Bolter ah. pistol, it's, it's good for selling, but not much else. It does seem like uh, going with heavy weapons would be the best because when it comes to like tough fights heavy weapons seem to give you the the most uh, power they are not the most efficient uh, when it comes to ammo consumption which is something to be considered Here we go. oh crap Don't die. <laughs> You're so loud. Would you stop? Mantis worm. Just a bunch of bugs. Mantis serapis. We don't really know. How valuable this is. is. Uh, I guess we'll take it. It seems like junk because it doesn't have any stats. Wow. So we have two roads. And actually we are going on the right road. But uh, the other road seems to be going over this one eventually. So maybe there's a way to jump down. Bridge overpass improvements provided by MSI. Expect delays, detour. Uh, sure. This should be the road, right? 
Oh no. Um, as your engineer, I advise you not to set foot on that, especially the bendy parts. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So we can't go there. Is there a way around? It's possible. I see. There is a way around. They're pretty far away. All together. That's nice how it's done, Captain. Oh, rip to you, uh, rest of the bandits. I see you there. Oh, level twenty. This is gonna be a pretty big one. Because I get skills and uh, perks, and they get perks. Let's just see. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking, as long as we don't need more uh, support skills, this is the best way to... Wait, let's just look at perks. Armor bonus and armor skill bonus. I'm kind of curious how will this work. Companion damage 160. Uh, this is the one I want. Extra armor and extra skill bonus for using armor. What? Silver tongue kit. Oh, is it the base skill only? Dialogue skills plus 5. Oh, is it just the... The base armor skill? Oh, not a mod. Oh, fuck. Did I save? Ah, I guess it's still armor bonus. Ah, maybe. Maybe we'll justify using it, but it's definitely a lot less cooler than I hoped. So we got Nyoka. Yeah, pff, I don't know. Companion ability damage. Or just passively more damage with ranged weapons. I'm just gonna take that. Uh, same thing with Parvati. Uh, yeah, we don't care about the TTD. I use it from time to time, but it doesn't need to be enhanced. And 160 here. If I put points into it. It becomes 200. So more points I put into it, actually, the, the more the points matter. The previous uh, level, it went from... Uh, it, it basically gave us 30% uh, boost for 10 points. Now we got 40% boost for 10 points. Which is pretty good. Let's just take it. I I'm just going for this, not because of the perks. And the base skill unlocks, but because it's just... Uh, like, look at that. 200% damage bonus. Like, what the hell? Okay, I went a little bit off track, that's for sure. This is some bandits here. Well, I guess we'll take his pulse hammer. Uh, I guess we can keep going here, but I, I suspect... No, I suspected wrong. It did look like that this was going over the other road, but now we can't see it because this is a fast travel point. <laughs> but it did look like it was going over it, so I kind of expected like a big bridge, something like that, with some way to drop down. Okay. 
Uh, I guess we'll pick up that junk. I'm not sure who would even want this crap. Maybe someone just uh, takes it and uh, displays it in their room. And they're gonna be like, oh, better watch out. I'm like a big monster hunter. Actually, I was wrong. It seems like uh, coming up this way was not an option. Sure. Yeah, this is what I hope to come up here. Mm, there's nothing here. Uh, let's just talk to the guy. I'm not sure what the hell he's doing here. And why the hell he's getting left alone by all these bugs? Hello there. A word, if I may be so bold. Well now. Here I thought those mantisaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? You're a merchant over here? Yeah, let's go. Do you have anything that's not complete garbage? Why is this... Attack shotgun too. Uh, this is not great. This is bad stuff, mister. Like, why would I go for such a crappy armor? I just want the best armor. Uh, this is crap. Hmm. Increase your movement speed for a short time when you enter TTD. No. Uh, we don't really need that, but I guess this this is the only thing that we might buy from him. Very disappointing. I was kind of hoping that we're gonna have something to buy. Now I'm sitting on uh, 40, 40, uh, 44,000 bits with nothing to buy. And sometimes even I even hesitate to buy stuff from uh, vending machines. Vending machines tend to have the best stuff, which is just Ballbrook's weird. on the other side of the bridge there. If you need a drink, we're only halfway to the mountain, so because Mike I would totally break into the vending machine. Get it? Kids, oh, come. On. Nice hit. They're not alerted. Here we go. Wow, this gun deals no damage. Is it broken? I I, I don't care. I just I just want you to come. I'm here. Maybe I'm too far away. I'm over here. How are they coming? Oh, they just uh, hold your position. We don't need to rush the bugs. Okay. Head out. Where we wanted to in the first place is uh, Catherine's camp, Fallbrook. We have uh, a few missions here. Tall walls. What? Interstellar Champions, Resource Rangers versus Spacers Chosen. Wow, this place is kind of big. All right, Monarch is huge. Before that, it was just like tiny station, tiny, tiny village. Oh, well, 
this is certainly a town, I think. It is a town. Fallbrook's great. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. Well, really? I, I want quite a lot of things, actually. And I got the bits. What are you looking at? I don't know. Is this your uh, headquarters? Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh... You don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. Wow. You had any ways to make that sound more shady? Uh, Lydia sent me to deal with a sublight problem. Flatter will get you everywhere. Do go on. Um... <laughs> Did you actually just uh, say wink at me instead of actually winking? Uh, cross my arms. This has got to be good. Let's go. Oh, I enjoy a good challenge. I'll get right to it then. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Sprats? That's a stroke of sheer brilliance. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. 50. Charm. Make it 35 plus a sample of the goods. And you got a deal, Wink. Th 30... Th 35 percent? Are you... Are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so... I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My wow. Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Okay. Uh, whoa, also Lydia sent me? Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. Uh, no, no, no. I got some questions. Hit me. I won't even hit back. Uh, Lydia sent me to meet uh, with Catherine Mallon. Wow. You're either an extremely important person or slated for a slow and torturous death. I do hope it's the former. Either way, you'll find Miss Catherine Malin straight back in Malin's House of Hospitality. Thanks. What was I... Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Sure it is. Wink. Wow, uh, I, I'm, I'm going. So, I'm just gonna pick up even more quests. Search sublights, shipping tunnels. Oh, I see. It's a local mission. Hmm. So... We see a lot of sublight. Uh, I'm not sure how she called them guards. They're kind of pirates. Tugs. Oh, I beg your pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? Oh, come on. You don't look like you're walking. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. You do that. To where? To the toilet. I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus. So long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. <sighs> well, carry on then. 
very important person. I'm going. Mm, there's not much in here, but we still need to close the door. On my way. Oh. Got a peep for me. That's stealing. Everybody! Oh crap! <laughs> That's, I I I didn't mean to do that. Wow! Very important person. Oh, vending machine discovered. Like, is this such a uh, important occasion? Found the vending machine. How awesome is that? The guard was seeing me, right? So, Blight Doug, you wanna talk to me? Keep walking, rough. Hey, I, I wanna talk to you over here. What are you looking at? Oh, your ass. You wanna talk? Uh, you wanna turn around? Yeah, whatever. Oh, that seems to be worth something. But it's garbage! It is total garbage. Disappointing. Disappointing selection. I'm going. I'm going. Come on, guys. I'm not even sure why I'm bothering with this crap, but let's do it. Be right there. Yeah, we're not stealing that. It seems to be. I don't know. It's it's a little unclear. I don't know. If they could see me or not. No, not Nyoka. Is there a way to know if they see me? Need success in an immediate dental work. It's not what I want. It's fine. Nyoka. Nyoka, would you fuck off somewhere else? I'm not that she's blind. Right Shooting her in the head would make her blind. I don't know. Seems like I'm missing something. When it comes to stealing, I, I just I just kind of need that information. Like, do they see me? So, sometimes it's obvious. Like, and you know, if it, if I was just playing it super legit, I would say that she could as clearly see me. But sometimes that's not how it works in games. Sometimes you can just like. Uh, steal in front of people. You don't if you if you get really good at stealing, you can just crouch in front of them, then steal off their armor too. So that's just that's just how it works. You're really good at stealing. Uh, Reginald Chain is gold panning log. I can't believe I'm stuck in this uh, law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel, on the riverbank, outside of town, produce one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who pays something for the teeth. What? So, this is uh, the mission of uh, Vicar Max. In a I guess I'm just gonna keep looting the houses. The chat? No, but thank you. I'm quite all right as I am. What? Wait, what? Hmm? Oh, you're still here. I said I don't require anything at this time. 
Run along now. I've had more than enough to satisfy my thirst for one evening. Look, mate, I'm not a waiter or you're or or a whore. Okay, seriously, what's your deal? Deal? A rather bad one indeed. The fella swore Fallbrook was unrivaled in its leisurely pursuits. But it seems to me the whole town is designed primarily to leech one's bits. And now that I've run dry, or nearly so, the fellas have abandoned me back to Byzantium. You wouldn't leave a friend in need, I'm sure. Don't suppose I could just ask you to scram. Okay, where can I find Catrin? Can't fathom why you'd go searching her out. But it's your neck on the noose. I was told she runs the saloon. Yeah, I mean, I probably didn't need that information. Can I get busted? Oh, it's not really worth getting uh, busted for. Plasma carbine. I don't really care about it. Let's go. So the sublight thugs are everywhere. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. So, scan. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Duly noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Very tasteful. Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. If you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. What else can you tell me about your insurance policies? Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Right. That's all I needed to know. One thing's for sure. You won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. That's all for now. Well, let's snoop around here. I'm not a huge fan of uh, insurance, usually. Oh crap, do we need to... Okay, we can, we can break this. Won't the robot attack me? Because if you think about it, it's a business run by a bunch of people who like stand there all day long. And the only way it's worth it to them is that if you lose. Sorry about this. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was just leaving. Worker determined to be operating within the parameters of the law. Sorry about that. On my way. Making tracks. Would using this be bad? I don't really wanna read this insurance stuff. Heading back. Now with added quality. 
Yeah, that kind of... Dry goods and sundry. Even if they had quality. If the quality was already pretty good. Right? Or maybe not, but... Wait a second. No, this is not good stuff. I'm looking for a heavy machine gun. A light machine gun, maybe. Alright. Let's talk. Uh, Duncan, Ellie. You guys have the same uniform, but... Hungry. What's that uniform? Famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. What? Oh, you're... What? Selling so many armor pieces. And they are all worse than what I got from the vending machine. Disappointing. I do like the silver dunk kit. You might buy one of these, just in case. I'm gonna need an extra. Oh! Okay, let's buy these. Search for clues. Acquire the science weapons of the Monarch. No refunds, no exchanges, no returns. And no whining about it either. If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Sounds like I would not want to buy anything from you. That's that's straight. Maybe I would. But let's just see what you got. So she's actually selling a lot of weapons. And this is the town, apparently, that has everything. And this is the town actually that has nothing. So this sword looks decent. This is the only sword that actually deals some damage. Sublight Sniper Rifle. Seems like a better version of the Deadeye Rifle. But uh, this is just not good enough. Yeah, there are no Mark III pistols yet. She's not even selling a uh, minigun. So she is the, well, guns, 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 and ammo uh, dealer. And despite that, she's not selling better guns than I already have. Uh, some modifications, but none of these are really impressive. That's it. She's not selling anything good. Very disappointing. Taste of freedom. Space is choice. Emmett Dunsley. Maybe you sell better stuff? Pardon me, you're distracting the magnificent journey of my mind. I was galaxies away being ripped asunder in the depths of a black hole. Oh, this guy again. What an excruciating and exquisite experience. Would you fuck off? Uh, I'll let you get back to your fantasies. I don't much care for that. Let's leave this uh, very disappointing store. And this is the main store. Dry Goods and Sundry. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they actually have a proper store. Malin's House of Hospitality. Uh, sounds like a brothel. I could use that shit after this very disappointing shop. Hi, guys. No, it's in. Carry on. Wait, is that what, what you have to say to me? You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? Um, got any glacial aged whiskey? No, I don't have any. Ugh. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the Annie Up, where you place your bets. 
What can I bet on? Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose and shirk on paying. Okay. So, do not gamble. It just doesn't make sense. Hey there, exterminator. Glad you showed up to take care of those mantis swarms. Oh, Live Machine Gun Mark II. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Level 18. But this is actually good stuff. I'll buy it. Uh, yeah, this is what I was hoping to see. I'll buy it. And I'm going to put it into my inventory. Instead of the... Maybe... I don't know. This is the robot weapon. Let's try that. Uh, is it not accurate? It's super accurate when it's used by the companions. Hey, Catherine. So I hear this place is uh, like a very bad bar. Uh, slash... Uh, I don't know. What the fuck are you guys gambling about? I need to see this shit. Oh, this guy's just doing his homework. One drinker, two drinker. And this is the big gambling going on here. I, I had to like double check this. But seemingly this is it. Wow, you guys are. These are guys, these guys are hardcore gamblers. They don't even have money on the board. No bits. Nothing. Maybe they only get the bits out when they win or lose, but still. Very hardcore gambling. Ain't looking for trouble, no. I'll thank you to check your weapons at the door. Oh yeah, uh, I I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind something like that, that uh, the game tries to take away your weapons and you have to make a decision. Or at least I wouldn't, wouldn't have my weapons ready, uh, pointing at people. Uh, you on, Brennan? Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. Is that so? so, what's your story? I like a drink. Well, it's the strangest thing, really. But I was frozen in space for 70 years. Then one day... Yep. Let me just stop you right there, stranger. My question, it's not one I really want an answer to. <laughs> not unless it accompanies some extra bits. Understand? Uh... Understand. Splendid. We appear to be of the same mind. So what you got? Booze. I don't want that. I'm not super desperate for someone to hear my story. Light machine gun mark too. If we can take this, this would be good. Hey you! Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was just leaving. Fine, but I got an eye on you. I, I get to keep the stuff that I stole? No, no, yes. Fuck yeah, we can keep the stuff that I. <laughs> so basically, like we got a scot free steal. But if I get busted stealing again, then they get mad. I should drink something. What is that going to be? Uh, yeah. Energy drink? Why the hell not? Mm. So this is not good. Guns, guns, guns vendor. Pretty disappointing stuff. So this is the town that has everything. Well, technically we did find something. Oh. But nothing I haven't seen before. Rizzo's gear is the best. Seer for tongue kit. Nah. I'm not gonna buy Adreno from this machine. We got a powerful enough as it is. 
Is there a way to go in? I do like quick save because it kind of um, also doesn't punish me from you know, just, just trying something. So okay, I can't get in. I'm not sure whose uh, house this is. Always imagine okay, but we can enter. Cleaner. And there's really not much going on here. Send to Saber, Mark II. Uh, we can steal this. I'm not exactly sure how getting busted works. Can I help you? Don't think we've spoken before. I would remember. You look, um, well, I wouldn't forget what you're wearing, no. What's that supposed to mean? Why would we have spoken before? That's kind of an odd question. Most of the freshies spend the first day in the saloon. Fresh to Fallbrook, I mean. Me? I've been here going on three days now. I'm real friendly. Figure I've talked up everyone in town by now. But not you yet. At least it's nice to meet someone who actually is interested in others. <laughs> not... Well, I guess the, the... The... The bartender was working, so... I guess I can't really fault her, but still. But it just does come... It does come off as uh, dishonest, you know? Why would you say that, hey, I would like to hear your story? I'm like, okay, I guess we can just chat and like, no, I don't give a shit. Would you like to pay? Uh, then I just don't say anything. I just say like, hey, you, know, you want to buy something? You, you don't have to uh, say that you're interested in their story. Uh, seems it's your lucky day. Is it? Every day I've been here has been my lucky day. Never won so much in my whole life. Wow. Aside from a close call during my wilderness hike, it's been a grand adventure. I'm dreadful blessed that Captain Cryley hired me onto the crew. You're, you're awfully loving this place. Who's Skull? Which crew? Ah, you wouldn't have heard of them. They're just a small pot of smugglers. Kept getting their spoils stolen when they went to fence them. So they hired on a merc. They didn't mind my being so talkative, or them being my first protection gig. Captain Cryley, he does ask me to shut it sometimes. In fact, I probably shouldn't be flapping my gums about his crew at all. <laughs> How do you wind up in Fallbrook? Well, Captain Cryley wanted to take a pit stop. I'm the hired security, see? They pay me to guard the cargo, but right now the hull's empty. It's my first shore leave with the crew, and my maiden voyage before that. I can tell you it's been a real hoot. You don't seem like the... ...type. Why would they hire you? No offense, I, I guess. But she looks... Very casually dressed. Maybe she dresses in heavy armor for the missions and she can shoot. I don't know, but it does seem a little odd. Or maybe they are desperate for any kind of protection. At the very least, it seems like uh, uh, her mortality rate is going to be pretty high. So, chance of getting paid is, is pretty low. Any survival tips? I Captain warned us to take care around Devil's Peak. The bigger beasties tend to roam the slopes there. Mid-morning, I thought I'd try Fallbrook's self-guided wilderness hike. The one that leads up around the mountain. Safe enough, else they wouldn't advertise, right? Wrong. Scarcely made it back in one piece. Sounds like you had a close call. You can say that again. Wilderness almost got me pushing up daisies. If I wasn't so fleet-footed, I never would have escaped them raptorons, then marauders, and that manta queen alive. Wow. To outrun him, I had to ditch my bag. All the bit cards from my winnings were weighing it down. A shame, because it was my favorite gun tote. That's all for now. Right then. Very well. Uh, wow. Uh, I might go for a snack here. Do we have a snack? Uh, Fast ration pill. Requires Fallbrook domicile key to unlock that we do not have. 
And it doesn't seem like we can uh, get in from any other side. Which is... Yeah, I mean, this is pretty obvious. Oh, I like that! Big mushroom trees. If you're feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes. Okay. Sublight tugs. They're literally called tugs. Ooh. I'm gonna go that way. Just check it out. Oh, Reginald uh, Cheney. He's the guy Max wants to talk with. But I guess he's not here. Mind your own business, friend. <laughs> okay, so we need Max for this, right? Companion quest. Find Reginald Cheney and. Yeah, we, we need Max for this. Cascadia Monarch. So we have to come back with Max. But we know where he is. It's okay. We can do that later. Is this dangerous? No. That's my launcher. Oh, light machine gun mark two. Wow. Vented mark three hem helmet. Really? That's mark three. That's garbage. Ah. No. Fuck me. Wait. Did I seriously uh did I manage to avoid a permanent concussion? Well, that doesn't matter. Oh yeah. It was far away that I didn't get a heavy penalty. That's another thing on Supernova. If you get hit by those mines, as we saw many times before, uh, up close, then you get a permanent penalty and you have to go back to the ship. That you can fast travel to. So not like you're super penalized, but yeah, it does cost you. Wow! The ship is here! Mm. Yeah, doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we landed here. Do I want to go back? We can get a VCR Max. Let's do that. But before we do that... Neoka, I'm not going to say that you should strip, but you should uh, use something else. So that, we go back and uh, just put in max. I'm not going to stay here for long. That's just, all, all we want to do is just put in Max in the team. And there's no way to do that other than just coming back and out. So I'm gonna replace Nyoka or Viker Max. But this is uh, kind of needed. Uh, because his armor. You know what would be a cool system? That instead of choosing, this would be a very cool system that they uh, maybe maybe they didn't want to implement. 
But what would be a cool system, as long as you're okay with all your companions using the same gear, is that instead of choosing a gear for specific companions, you can put, you can do that, but you can additionally have a system that says that gear of the first companion, gear of the second companion, and when you replace a companion, that they automatically uh, change their gear. So I can just switch between companions without uh, just uh, changing their armor. It's not a huge deal, especially uh, if you just have your companions with you all the time. Science weapon damage. Yeah, let's just go with that. Oh, also, he has a light machine gun. That's gonna be replaced. It feels like I should be slower with this heavy machine gun, but I'm not sure I am. Okay, workshop. I don't really want to get busted. Oh, sublight ID badge. Now that's interesting. That uh, holo thingy that we have, um, holographic shroud, doesn't really come into play often. Oh, 63. Oh, here we go. That's not too bad. Okay, I can buy three of these. Twenty-four level twenty-four armor, and the, currently the ones we are using are pretty good, but it's because of their bonuses. It's only a uh, fifty-six, so I'm gonna buy three of these armors: elite troop armor, gold, anti Cleo's auto band. I can sell to that, but I just buy free and uh, replace everyone's. Ooh, maybe not mine. I could have thought about that, but we can uh, do some uh, tweaking. 75. Wow. Sixty-seven. Uh, so I can uh, make some improvements, modify one of these armors with the uh, not the tuck kit, the silver tongue kit. Uh, do I care about gadgets? No, that's not. Important. We got a stock armor plating on it. Utility. It doesn't matter. One extra thing we can do is uh, tinker with it. So all of these are a little better. I, I can't because it's very high level. But I, I can tinker with it a little bit. But that's it. And now I can just sell stuff. I can also sell it to the vending machine. But do I want to do that? Uh, the termination hemp is crap. That's crap. I'm keeping that for lockpicking. Huh. Is there something I can put into that armor that would make it more useful? Because I'm kind of keeping it as like a double skill armor. But I might be wrong about it. So we got this stealth skills plus five. I don't know. That's I don't want to boost it. I want to modify it. Yeah. I only care about skills. Tech skills plus five. 
But if I use this, tech skills, actually this would be worse. This would be worse than having a tech armor. So it's kind of hard to say if we should keep it or not. What about here? Uh, nothing good here. Uh, backpack doesn't matter. Why the vending machines have the best stuff? I don't get it. So we can sell this now. And it's also... It's not super heavy. But it's... Yeah. Reasonable weight. Do I sell it? I don't know. Wait. Yeah, I'm still using the... The old one. 67... I guess I can just give it to the other companions, but it's it's not relevant. So let's sell that, and of course we sell a bunch of guns. Ultra. And immediately get set, sold automatically. And we're just gonna keep the light machine gun because that's really good. Although we don't really need more than three, but who knows. I can carry it. Oh, also, sell the junk. Look at this. 67. It's not a huge upgrade. 79. Oh. 79 armor? Look at that. A uh, helmet is not super important, I feel like. Mostly they just get hit in the body. What do you guys look like? And to Cleo. So it's not really that Rizzo has the best gear, it's just uh, you just have to watch for the vending machines. Which is just super odd. Why the vending machines have the best stuff? I don't get it. I wanna like crack into vending machines. That should be like uh, a skill for sure. Or how does it work that I can't crack into vending machines? Fallbrook Patron. Are you guys ready? It's not even really worth uh, just looting these guys. Now some mason drugs. Still stealing? Ah, uh, no, the 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 all all these uh, raptodons. They stole your bullets. Oh, I had to use it. I had to use the bullets to kill the raptodons. I didn't find any bullets. Oh, one more. Sprat. Report back to Nelson. I don't think this is as a... Uh, as a worthwhile of a quest as I, as I, as I thought. I just return it real quickly. I have to do it anyway. <laughs> yes. not, not. Guess what, guy? It's done. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take my 95% uh, cut and. Did you find them? I'll be going. Tell me you found my dr I mean, my Sprat carriers. Would hate should anything dire have befallen them. <laughs> I found your spread carriers, but someone stole the delivery. <laughs> oh my god, I wanna... I used to be good at lying, but now not. What happened? I have a different uh, companion. Lies 43. Lies 57. Oh! 
Wow! Actually, I didn't consider this. Look at this. Reed's hat is giving me 17. So that means uh, the perk I picked up that increases uh, uh, the skill bonus from any armor you wear also applies to helmets. So, how much is my persuasion? 101, and my lying is 57, and intimidate 80, 85. Wow. So, I, I definitely managed to get to enough persuasion. Actually, that's too much. Obvi uh, that's obviously too much. But we could have also reached that level uh, with, uh, with some boosts. So I could just like do, do some drugs and uh, drink some alcohol. And I, I'm pretty sure I can pu push it to 110. So I just kind of over pushed that. Of course, only because Parvati is giving me a bonus. Without that, we would need to invest more heavily in that. Did you find them? Uh, someone stole the, the drugs. Seeing as how that statement is wink free. <laughs> I am madder than a mantis swarm, and ready to bite somebody. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs, no matter what it takes. Find the missing spread carriers? What? <laughs> I lied to him, but I still gave him some drugs. I thought we were gonna keep it up. What's going on here? This mini Malin, get your twitchy whiskers oh, back here! Oh, I see. The, the closed door. door. It's a cruel world outside. Close the damn door. Oh, shit. Let my sprats out. Damn it all! Now look what you've done. It'll take me ages to round him up again. State your purpose, or get out of my face, domicile intruder. I'm looking for some missing sprats. You wouldn't have seen any around. Missing? Nope. Nope. Mine are all found and accounted for, thank you kindly. Now if that'll be all, I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. These sprats you stole are drug carriers. I'm here to retrieve the goods. Look, I don't care if Nilsson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats' heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. Uh, Back out of this domicile, hands up, or become sprat food, intruder. No need for vivisection. Sprats possess rapid digestive system. I won't hurt your sprats. The drugs have probably passed through their digestive tracts already. Let's go with medical. You want to dig through sprat droppings? Be my guest. Get your drugs, then get lost. Okay, this is a uh, little off. Yeah, keep it. Let's go. Um, everything for drugs. Uh, maybe I won't be doing these drugs, specifically. Come on, let me in. Got the goods? Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. Wink, wink. I got it. Searched all over town, couldn't find them. Keep drug consumables. As a matter of fact, I do. You do? I mean, you do! Of course you do! What did I tell you? Sure fire delivery system. Works almost every time. That's great, now you pay me. I'm not gonna say what happened to them. Right, right. In my excitement, I very nearly forgot. <laughs> ha ha. As promised, your cut, plus a little extra to show my gratitude. Now, if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Why not? 
Seems like a win-win. There's no need to lie about the whole situation. Where would I find the buyer for all this crap? <laughs> Nowhere. This is the only guy who wants it. I could just lie for lying's sake. But it doesn't seem too smart. We can't go in there. It may be related to uh, Vicar Max. It's not much going on here. Wait. Did I just ignore Catherine? <laughs> oh yeah, we totally did that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, sure. Uh, I guess we will get back to her. Also, we gotta talk with uh, uh, the guy. With Vicar. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.